Sir, welcome to our humble police house. Can I help Chief, you with something? I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine. An electric chair. And he, uh, he wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit. But it's going to cost you $100 in fees. Okay. Well, the price is fair. Here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. A pen and unusual formalities, of course, such as uh, finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatchment. I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck. Hey, mister. You have a fine evening, sir. You okay, boy? Professor... Professor... Andrew Bell the Third. That's it. So, the chief says you can test out your machine, oh. pending the usual formalities. And what are they? Uh, finding a suitable, uh, subject. Ah, funny you should mention. This fella here, he seems sturdy enough, and he's guilty as sin. Wilson J. McDaniels. Wanted for murder, bigamy, and... Immoral animal husbandry. What's that? The mind shudders. Here, find him for me and help me put him out of his misery. Executioner awaits. Let's go, boy. Have a nice evening. Evening, friends. You know what? I'm feeling good today. Mr. 
Okay. 
Hey, they're gone. Get away from me! Get out of here while you can! Hey, friend. Mister? You must need eyes in the back of your head. Easy there, easy. Anyway, I won't disturb you any longer. Howdy. Hi there.
There we go. Come home. Easy.
Easy now. I'm here for Wilson McDaniel. Don't want anyone else. I don't know where to find you.
Wait. This ain't America. We ain't free no more. <laughs> Can't raise no animals, take no wives. All I did was graze my livestock. Married them that needed marrying, and killed any that tried to stop it. I ain't wrong. <laughs> it's you that's wrong. We was trying to live free. And you came along and laid waste. Take me in, just take me to the jailhouse. You know, you ain't going you ain't going to jail either. I'm taking you to a professor I know. What in hell are you talking about? You're a lucky man, mister. You get to be part of a great experiment. Shut up! Huh? You ain't gonna die needlessly is what I mean. Nope. Your death's gonna be an uh, important step in the advancement of human knowledge. What in hell are you saying, mister? This professor... Andrew Bell the third, I believe he said. He's a little odd, maybe harebrained, but I got no reason to doubt the quality of his work. What's this damn professor got to do with anything? Well, he wants to try this new electricity chair on you. To kill you. Humanely. <clears throat> no! Yeah. Well, he's gonna strap you into this contraption and run a large electric current through your system. Got something to do with moonshine. I don't quite know what. <laughs> I guess that's why he's a professor and I'm the bounty catcher. <laughs> but as I said, I can pass on his assurances that this is a most humane way to go. It'll be just like, well, like switching off a light. <laughs> they wouldn't let you do this to me. They wouldn't. Oh, they would. And we got a permit and everything. You was in animal husbandry, am I right? Well. You ever seen lightning strike livestock, Mr. McDaniels? Now, I ain't ever seen the actual impact, but I came across a pasture sometime after. The storm had just cleared, and there was smoke in the air, smell of burning hair. No. There must have been a dozen head of cattle lying there, piled up, mangled, with strange scars across their backs, legs, and necks. It's half like they was burned, Half like the skin was ripped off. No! Eyes bleeding. Some of them popped out. No! If I hadn't seen the storm, well, I would have thought some devil caused that mischief. But, no, sir. It was light. The electricity does something, all right. I seen trees explode in front of me. I seen desert sand baked into glass. That's what I see lightning do. But, you know, hey, this electricity professor's got a plan for you. Ah, that must be of an entirely different kind. <laughs> Bounty hunting, sure. Ah, can't be 